Hey YouTube, what's up? It's KShire22 here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today what we'll be doing is replacing the power connector. As you can see, there's actually one screw that holds this into place and um, it looks like the bracket might have broken off. So we're going to go ahead and replace this with an entirely new one. This is the second time that this customer has done this. The first time she went to a different repair company who charged her almost $200. Uh, the, the part is actually only $12.99 to replace. And then of course, you know, I, I charge by the hour. And so this customer is paying less than $50 to have this part replaced this time. So, um, you know, don't overcharge people, but we'll go ahead and get started on this replacement. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead, flip it around. We'll notice right off the bat that there's multiple screws. Um, we'll want to go ahead and remove the battery. And now we should be able to see all the screws that there are. We're going to go ahead and start removing all of them. Go ahead and take the CD drive out. It looks like it is. They don't even actually have a CD drive. That's crazy. And find a magnet. Go ahead, just make sure that there's no other screws. I don't think there's gonna be any behind these two because there's two screws right there. And the same with these two. Sometimes they'll put screws underneath of these paddings um, but that all looks good and where you could actually kind of get it. Now the CD drive is always tricky. Sometimes, most of the time they actually do put screws in here and there's normally about three or four small flat screws, but they're Phillips, but they're really small and flat. And you don't want to forget about them because if you do that, you'll damage the CD drive. Um, where it goes in and out and you might have an unhappy customer about that. Normally you'll notice before you actually break it. So I've never broke one personally, but I could see how it could be very easy for a new person to possibly break it. Okay, so this is all looking pretty good so far. We're gonna open it and just kind of see how things are going on this side. So this one's gonna be a little bit trickier we're going to have to take the CD drive out because there's probably two or three screws underneath of this that we're going to have to replace. I normally use a smaller flathead for this, but it's fairly easy. You just stick it in these little uh, locks right here in the front of the keyboard. Now, not all of these have it, uh, have these. Some of the keyboards are like underneath and they sink through the chassis of the laptop. We'll be able to clean our keyboard really nice now. Um, but we'll go ahead and take out the rest of these screws. We can see there's one right here. Now for every laptop, I mean, the concept's gonna be pretty similar. This is probably one of the hardest ones you'll actually run into because you have to actually take out the keyboard to even get to that port, but it's no big deal. I mean, you just look for the screws that you need to see um, that need removed. And if you miss one or two, just don't worry, just take your time because as you try to, you know, open the case, if you notice extreme pressure and it's just taking too much force, then you probably can, you know, assume that you missed a screw or two. Just kind of like, you know, what I did is like, I completely forgot about the keyboard. Forgot, I just woke up not even 30 minutes ago and you know, I just go, go, go. Um, and if you're like me, you know, you're bound to miss a few things and you're gonna make mistakes. Um, and I work on, I mean, I do this for a living, so. All right, so this screw just spun and spun. I can take the magnet to it, see if I can get it to come out. I don't think it's gonna want to. I'm just spinning. Yeah, so that one's just how it is. Now, look at that how nicely that came apart. Okay, look, there is a lot of broken plastic in here. And if it were my guess, 
It's from the other repair company. So we could see, I mean, we didn't hear no crackling or anything, anything that indicated that this was our, our fault. And knowing that it had been replaced before just kind of tells me, you know, the work that the other repair company had done. We're gonna go ahead and we can see the power connectors right here. We gotta figure out how we're gonna take this apart. Okay, so it looks like I might be able just to wiggle this out. Um, one way or another. like that so old ones out and new ones going in and let's go ahead and try to get this one in there that one was a piece of cake so we're going to close this up just like that and we'll go ahead and I think we should go ahead and put some adhesive down so now we've actually got some adhesive in there so we're gonna go ahead and seat this in there as gently as we can. So that's actually in there super tight, which is basically what we want. We're gonna take the end of this power connector and make sure. Perfect. We'll go ahead and put that screw in. It took me just a second to get that screw in, but after I got that screw in, I made sure that it was firmly in its place. And then I started to put the computer back to the way it was, starting with the screws on the outside, and then of course the keyboard screws. Putting the keyboard back into its place, making sure that all the screws are back to where they belong. Um, just. And then once I'm done, I noticed that there were actually three screws that wouldn't go back into its place because of those broken anchors. Now, there's not a whole lot you can do about that unless you were to replace the entire case. Um, a lot of times you can use adhesive, um, but there's not a lot you can do. So, as you can see... It is charging the lights on we can unplug it so we can see it the light went off and now it's back on this is sturdy so I really like this I think using the adhesive really worked I just buy these little cheap super glues from um, Dollar General and every time I use one I always have to throw it away because it's no good the next time I try to use it it's just whatever so um, I think we're gonna have a happy customer now one thing I always do is I clean their keyboard out, I clean their screen, wipe everything down so they get the feel of a brand new computer. You know, I, I mean, why would you hand back a dirty computer? And a lot of times I'll actually clean it before I even work on it, but because we're doing this video, I decided not to do that. But anyways, that's all for this video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.